My name is Marius Kwarczyński. I'm working at University of Queensland and I would like to talk to you today about our recent paper published in current drug delivery in the special issue regarding the drug delivery Australia in 2015. Main goal of our research is to develop therapeutic vaccine against cancer. Cervical cancer caused by human papilloma virus is still one of the major reasons of death related to the cancer, and there is no efficient therapy which is able to eradicate this cancer. Therefore, immunotherapy or vaccination is one of the most promising alternative treatments. In fact, prophylactic vaccine against cervical cancer was developed by Ian Fraser at our university, but there is no vaccine which is able to treat existing cancer. Therefore, in our approach to develop the vaccine against the cancer, we target E6 and 7 protein and we develop the vaccine based on the peptides derived from these proteins. We have conjugated these peptide epitopes to the branched polymer and we self assemble it into microparticles. We have challenged mice with tumor cells and after a few days we vaccinated the same mice with our construct. We found that the leading candidates were able to eradicate tumor in the mice and this efficacy was similar to positive control. We further optimized the construct and we were able to achieve 90% of survival rates and only in case of one mice, tumor was fully developed. But the major question was how our vaccine is really working, because if you really want to cure the cancer in the human, we need to activate cytotoxic T lymphocyte response. To activate immune responses, including cellular one, we need to have efficient uptake but antigen presenting cell. Therefore, we performed such experiment and we found that lead vaccine candidate was efficiently uptaken by antigen presenting cells. To further analyze how our vaccine is working, we performed depletion experiment. Therefore, we shut down CD8, CD4, and NK cell responses using antibodies. And we found when CD8 were deactivated, the vaccine didn't have any effect on mice. So all mice die even faster than treated with just PPS. Therefore, we can conclude that CD8 responses were crucial for vaccine efficacy. Finally, I would like to acknowledge all these people involved in this project and National Health and Medical Research Council for funds.